Welcome to Draw and Design. In today's video, we are going to install rebars in column footing or the spread footing using the Naviate rebar extension. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the future videos. So let's get started. First of all, we will select this column footing, then go to Naviate Rex toolbar and here we will find the spread footing click on this spread footing and as you can see we have the geometry having the basic information of our family and also the preview of width height and uh, length of the spread footing now first of all go to bottom bars here we can apply the cover to our footing let's uh, apply the exterior number three to number five or uh, cast against earth this one will be better for the spread footing let's select this one now for this longitudinal bars we will select number six dia having the hooks 180 degree and uh, for sl in, in the preview as you can see SL is the spacing between the long bars so this one we will place in 6 inch center to center and for the transverse transversal bar we will select the number 6 die off bar we having 180 degree hook and SP in here you can see the spacing between the long uh, short bars let's apply the 6 inch also here and cl cl and cl cl and cb are the covers from the outer side uh, let's write uh, two inches here and also two inches here so the position where these two bars are crossing uh, this this will automatically generate the intersection point next we will select the top bars uh, normally the top bars in the foundation spread footing are not applied so that's why the Naviate uh, provided the top reinforcement checkbox even if you are applying or not applying you can check or and check this option let's uh, let's apply this reinforcement so first of all we will check this one and for the covers we will also select the cast against earth for the longitudinal bars let's select uh, let's keep number four having the hook 180 degree and with the spacing of eight inches also this side 180 degree with a spacing of eight inches and that's the same, same point two inches cross area two inches and then click on ok and that's all the rebar application is completed for the spread footing in here 3d view let's select this one go to filter check none then check the structural rebars and click on apply and ok so this will uh, select the structural rebars now let's go to view visibility state and check view unobscured and view as solid and then click on ok so this will view the reinforcements of foundation so we have installed the reinforcement in only one spread footing what if we want to install the reinforcement in all the spread footings in our project so we have a very easy solution for this one just select one spread footing right click select all the instances in the entire project now hold the shift key and unselect this one which we have already installed this will select all the spread footings in our project again go to Naviate Rex, click on spread footing and uh, change the all, all the setting for reinforcement 
for top bars and bottom bars and then click on ok this will generate the reinforcement in all the footings and may take some time so let's see if reinforcements are complete these reinforcements are installed in all, in all the spread footings as you can see like this one I hope you enjoyed this video if you really enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel